Yo, I'm going to be reviewing a video called Productive Day in My Life by Sophie Di Loretto. Is this going to be another video of a girl making her bed, buying vegetables, believing that she's being productive? It's as if all of these girls are clones. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Oh my god, man. All of them do it. They believe that they achieved something. What's the point? In nature, you have your shelter. You should take care of it, of course. You should keep the animals outside of it and maybe remove some leaves from it. <laughs> but uh, making your bed... Why would you make your bed in general? What's the difference if you make it or not? Welcome back to my channel. I've really been on my productivity grind lately and I've been super busy. You're actually not on a productivity grind. Your life has no meaning, no actual purpose, which is why you make your bed. That's what's going on here. Lately. So today I thought I would take you through a productive day in my life to hopefully help you boost your own productivity. She's pretty though. And you got a little bit motivated. I see that you have uh, acne, skin issues. It's actually very easy to fix this by eating naturally, but um, of course, girls nowadays don't learn what they are supposed to eat whatsoever. They always eat food, which causes skin issues. It's not as if skin issues make you unattractive as such, although they do, of course, depends on how bad it is. It's just that it makes you look unhealthier, which you are, of course, you have to be if you have skin issues. It's the largest organ of your body. It shows how healthy your overall body is, also your organs. And uh, of course, um, an unhealthy body isn't as attractive Yeah, she makes her bed and does journaling. It's just all the same. Affirmations. <laughs> I love it. And a to-do list. Yeah. Because you don't do what you naturally want to do, which you can't even nowadays. Instead, you do what you force yourself to do. Look, the sun is shining outside. You should go outside for the sunrise. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm taking you through a little productive day in my life. I'm gonna be giving you all my productivity tips. I just started off my morning like usual. I actually woke up later than desired today. It's already almost 8.30. I have actually been waking up at like 6.30, but I think I was sleeping really good because I have like dents all in my arms still. I was like having some crazy dreams and maybe my body just needed a little bit more rest. I've actually implemented a new step into my morning routine, which- You should always sleep as long as you possibly can. It's literally your body telling you to sleep, to rest. Yeah. Never interrupt it. Is affirmations and I've been really consistent about it and they are so amazing. I do my gratitude journaling and I journal in this journal where I do all of these different prompts. I have been listening to affirmations and actually repeating them out loud. I know it sounds a little crazy because you're just like sitting there talking to yourself, but honestly, it puts me in such a good mood. The ones I've been listening to. It is technically crazy. But let's get going because I'm hungry and we have a lot to do today. Coconut yogurt, as in uh, plant-based? A probiotic. Why do people take probiotics? Only because they have gut issues. Otherwise, a human being wouldn't think of doing that. Meaning that she's probably eating, as we can see already, gut-destroying food. Yeah, you have the pesticides on the berries. Oh my god, she eats granola. Yeah, oh my god. Ah, that's sad because you have it in this hard bowl, but it's really hard destroying food, but overall destroying food, of course, for your body, especially gut destroying. Granola is full of 
very harmful toxins, really, really bad for you. Strawberries may look nice, they may taste sweet. You like the sugar, I get it. They have been cultivated. Strawberries in nature are small. Strawberries are like an undercover gut destroyer. What I mean by that is that they may look nice, but they, of course, destroy your gut because of the pesticides, and they are really pesticide-ridden. You cannot even find any that aren't nowadays. Tea is really poisonous. Whatever tea it is, it doesn't even matter. One touch of nature makes the whole world kin. Oh my god, nature? Something can't even be more anti-nature. I love making breakfast and then making a cup of tea. Lately I've really been enjoying spearmint tea. It's so refreshing. She has the... Maybe it's just a fashion thing, but it seems like she may be cold because she has uh, the sweater or whatever over the fingers. It's typically a sign that you're cold. Also, typically, when people make these hot beverages, such as tea, coffee, whatever, uh, they are cold also a lot of times. So it's just a guess here. And it's helpful for like balancing hormones. So I have a nice cup of that. Oh my God, no, this will destroy your hormones. She probably is realistically cold because of the hormones also. It's because you don't eat a real breakfast. If you would be eating even bacon and eggs, which you may be full of sodium chloride and whatnot, but uh, even if it's a processed bacon, which it basically has to be bacon in itself, not that it's unprocessed pork, still, it would be way better than any of what you ate. It's just because you're not eating animal fat for the most part. That's why you have no energy, you can't produce body heat. I also love making my room super cozy, so I just lit some candles. I also keep a tiger's eye. And by the way, that's also the reason you have the skin issues, the breakfast. A crystal here, because that's a good crystal for productivity. <laughs> and even if it's just a placebo. <laughs> I like that she had to laugh for herself. Does anybody actually believe that in the crystal thing? It's cute and I like it. It's actually really like a chilly day out. It's super, super windy. I went and tried eating my breakfast out on the deck like I like to do in the summer. And it was so cold. I immediately had goosebumps everywhere. I came inside, put on a sweatshirt and sweatpants and like comfy socks. I use my actual daily planner. This one is from Not Koi. I will link it in the description. It's really cute. Honestly, I really like it. It has a really good page layout. Getting clear on what I want my day to look like first thing in the morning helps me make sure that I have a productive day. It helps me know exactly what I need to do. So at the top, there's a spot for top priorities. As I said, what you should be doing should be what you naturally want to do. Maybe we'll see what she wrote down because otherwise you can't be happy as a human being. A human being or any animal can only be happy if they do exactly what they want to do every day. I get it. Seeing as we live in slavery, we can't. We are forced to work and everything that we do as slaves. You understand that. The more you can do what you want to do in your life, the happier you will be. But seeing as she's a, a YouTuber, let's just assume maybe that's how she makes her income. Besides making videos, there's really not much that you should be forced to do in everyday life. But she still does that. She doesn't even realize it. She does it to herself of the day like if you only got three things done today what do they need to be and then the next space they're less of a priority but you still want to do them you can also schedule tasks by putting in times and then break time things i often like to put like a workout do laundry maybe clean up around the house maybe workout yeah you need to force yourself because nobody wants to do it doing laundry also of course cook lunch so i'm gonna fill this cooking even humans eat raw food in nature cooking is also a chore out everything I need to do today. Yeah, in nature, as a woman, you would take care of your children, which you love to do. You really enjoy it. It's not a chore. You don't need to put it on a to-do list because every morning you wake up and you look forward to being around your children, spending your day with your children. Maybe you would collect some food, but that's not stressful. If you would collect some berries, if anything, you would be happy about feeding your family, getting some berries for them while your husband is out hunting. No problem. What else would you even do? Of course, uh, 
reproduce even more. Really, there's not much else. You love to do everything in your natural everyday life, which is why nothing is a chore. Everything is great. Sure, there can be a lot of danger, but in a so-called perfect scenario, you would for sure not force yourself to do anything. You would not say, I need to climb this tree today for no reason. I need to go and run around in a circle for 30 minutes. None of that, none of what the modern women do. So the best way that I found to organize my work day, and this can apply for a few. <laughs> I like how pink everything is. You work from home if you have a remote job, maybe even an office job, or if you have schoolwork, is to do the smallest kind of miscellaneous tasks first. For me, this is usually answering email, following up with people. Yeah, this is something that you would put on a to-do list because you don't want to do it. <laughs> they just don't get it. It's so crazy that people do this. All right, to be fair, it doesn't really look stressful at all so far. This is all right. If you want to do it, then for sure. If you gotta force yourself to do it, then no. But compared to the girls who go to the gym today and lift heavy weights, this is totally okay. I ended up actually doing like 40 minutes of Pilates and yoga just now. I did the yoga and I was feeling like I want this to be Pilates. Like I want a little bit more something. So then I turned on Pilates workout and it was hard. I was working up sweat. It felt like a, a good burn. I want to go see if I have the ingredients to potentially make a juice because that sounds so good and refreshing. But I'm definitely going to go downstairs and prep some food. I kind of want something cold. I think just because I'm so hot, like something refreshing sounds really good. I'm not sure what we have. So I'm going to go see about that. <laughs> Salad with grilled tofu, oh my god, man. Tofu has phytoestrogens, it's gonna make you infertile. And then you have uh, some fruit. And I can't see the rest. Or wait, It said organic girl, <laughs> it was like spinach. Accidentally didn't record the whole time I was cutting up veggies. That's good. Oh man, she is green leaves with some kind of man-made vegetables. This is how you destroy your youth, your beauty as a girl, your fertility. At her age, uh, I guess she's in her 20s somewhere, whatever, she should already have a lot of children. And really the latest time should be now that you're starting to have children. Instead, she's pretty much doing nothing all day long eating some food which is going to make her infertile. Then she wakes up in her 30s, she's not that attractive anymore, her skin is even worse, and then she realizes that she wants a child, but she's already infertile by the time. Men are not really that interested in her anymore. And that's it. Life over. ready for the day basically and do my makeup right now it's almost two o'clock but I you don't need to use makeup uh, as i said she's quite pretty naturally and uh, really nobody cares if you have some spots on your face or whatever i, I get it uh, it's an insecurity she feels like people will look at her but really trust me nobody cares about it Pretty much over 90% of people have acne or some kind of skin issues today because most people have destroyed guts because they eat similar food as you. What you just said before? That destroys your gut and causes acne. Do these girls never think that all of this makeup, the chemicals, will destroy their skin? I don't think so. It seems like none of them talk about it. None of them ever talk about the ingredients of the makeup and how there's chemicals in there that actually age your skin. Makeup is done. Okay, time to pick an outfit. I just threw on this shirt. Maybe I kind of just want to keep wearing this 
pants because I think you can really see. Her body fit is a little bit too low. Then I decided to go for a walk, which has become one of my absolute favorite things to do. It truly helps keep me from feeling burnt out because sitting at a computer all day or just working all day can honestly feel really draining. Of course, she has a dog because she wants a child, obviously. Okay, two. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, <laughs> she walks around revealing a lot of her skin, trying to attract somebody while walking around with the two dogs, signaling that she wants children. Oh boy, that's what's going on today. I wonder what kind of tea it is. Probably has caffeine, if it's green tea or anything like that. <laughs> Typically what girls buy nowadays, toxic green leaves, some fruits and seeds. <laughs> And supplements, probably, because she's nutrient deficient. What is that? Woman's multi, multivitamin. <laughs> wait, wait, what is this? Oh, it's a probiotic. Oh my god, these are fake. This girl needs to eat raw animal foods. She doesn't get it. She's nutrient deficient and is destroying her gut her whole life. This makes me so sad that you have so many of BTs and they have only two kinds now. It's literally so upsetting. They're my favorite. Okay, just seeds, vegetables, and supplements. Grocery haul. We got a lot of stuff. Actually, more than I was planning to. I got. You got a lot of stuff, but you didn't get anything with nutrients. Some more hemp hearts and pumpkin seeds for my yogurt bowl. They stopped selling the key dark chocolate chips for some reason. I don't know why I can't find them anywhere, but I got the baking gems instead. Organic raw almonds for my yogurt bowls because I kind of want to try eating those with them. A restock on my probiotics because I eat these every day. Some of my favorite white rice, honey crisp apple, and I got some green apples to make green juices with. Limes because I love using these on my little veggie bowls. Got ginger for my juices. Oh my god, what can you even say to any of this? It's insane what's going on here. Oh my god, man. It's just so twisted. Well, and these always just look so funny to me. It's like a little hand, kind of creepy. Iceberg lettuce and zucchini. Bananas that you want every day. Celery, also for my green juices. Some lacinato dino kale for my green juice. You do understand that kale is one of the most toxic plants on this earth, that you can actually die from it as well so some cilantro because it's like my favorite herb and some lemons for like tea everything really my favorite dark chocolate except my favorite fa she drinks the tea then she consumes chocolate caffeine she has no energy and she cannot have any energy if this is what she eats i don't even see any animal foods whatsoever it's vegan basically favorite is the dark chocolate hazelnut but they didn't have it so i got vanilla crunch and cashew butter i got the garden of life women's multivitamin which i used to take a lot but i haven't in a while but i think that i could benefit from it. exciting yeah and on the multivitamin they have uh, fruits and vegetables even though vitamins are found in meat but if she would talk about meat and she would say that she would eat it for protein that's how brainwashed people are things that I got are one more of these little B. Lucia candles. I got the Moonstone one. So these are candles with crystals in them and they're made with essential oils. So they aren't toxic to breathe in. So good. It's so cute. I've had the- How are they not toxic to breathe in if you can't eat it? If you can't eat it, then it's toxic. Eat a candle. Well, you can't because, uh, not because of the wax, but because uh, of the essential oils, of course. How can it not be toxic for you? I how? <laughs> 
the pink one and the purple ones because it's like the light blue one. So I think the other ones were the amethyst and rose quartz. But these are so cute. I love them. And I kind of wanted some more fun scents for my diffuser. And I was like, it's like, like the basic scents. So I got rose and vanilla. They smell so good. Both of them do. So I think that'll be honestly really nice. Like it's like a nice alternative to a candle that has artificial fragrance. The vanilla smells so good. So I'm excited about these. That's gonna be a cute one. <laughs> Last thing that I'm gonna do before I go to sleep to set myself up for tomorrow is make my to-do list. I find that making a to-do list the night before just allows you to let go of any potential worry or stress that you maybe have about what you need to do the next day. If you have it all written down. Yeah, but that's because you're doing something that you don't want to do. If you would stop that, then you wouldn't have any problems. When you have a plan for yourself, I just find that I can relax so much more easily when I try to go to sleep and I already know what I need to do the next day. So when I wake up, I'm already- You naturally know what you need to do. Nobody needs to tell you, especially you yourself in a journal, what you need to do the next day or whenever. I'm feeling good and I kind of know what my day will hold. <laughs> all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i really hope you enjoyed comment this emoji if you watched all the way up until the end and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos have an amazing day and i will see you next time as i said she will wake up in her 30s and realize that she messed up her whole life all of these women who are in their 30s 40s right now should tell women who are younger that they should be having children young enough when they are still beautiful fertile attractive but no none of the women who regret it later tell the younger women that this is what they should be doing instead they keep pushing the same agenda essentially it's an agenda from the outside it's not as if these women create it but um, still they are promoting it just the same way as the younger ones and this is why nobody's waking up so to speak nobody's realizing that this is not the right thing to do as a guy or a girl men are also having children too late everybody is and then of course you have the horrible diet you take the multivitamins because you don't feel good you wouldn't be taking the multivitamins if you would know that you're getting what you need if you would actually feel good then you also wouldn't take the probiotics but because you're consuming fiber-rich plants which are indigestible which lack over 15 micronutrients of course you feel it you feel the gut discomfort you feel the malnourishment which is why you do it if you would be eating raw animal foods what all of the women eat in nature then you would never think about taking anything for your gut or any multivitamins simply because you would feel so good you would feel so nourished you would feel exactly the way you want to feel you would be very fertile you would uh, want to have children you wouldn't be focused on getting uh, dogs it's all fine to have dogs along with children if anything the children should play with the dogs <laughs> of course they should have a lot of siblings they should play with each other that's all cool but if you only have dogs and you walk around with them because you want to have children, then you really have a problem. It's just very messed up to see that all of these women are destroying their lives. And uh, also the future generations, which may come, probably in their mid-30s when they wake up and realize that they want children, if they can still have one or two children at that point, the new generations will look even worse. If she will have a daughter, she will look worse because of the food. And then the next one will look even worse. They will have a lot of illnesses, uh, bad eyesight, glasses, destroyed gut, eczema, acne, underdeveloped bodies. It's just typical. It's just what's going on today. It would be so easy to stop it. Thanks for watching.